quickly leave your comments down below in the comment section on, 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 on this on this game um rafael Vren as as i know i know this is not breaking news to you guys but um uh, yeah dude i live in a rural area I, I live in country so what you guys hear in three days advance i'm hearing it in three days past so rafael Vran has as as announced that he's leaving manchester united i knew this was coming i knew this was coming i do 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 i knew this was going to come i knew this was going to come because with his injury record and he's not even playing much and the games he plays he's not even playing 90 minutes it was it's just a summer of man, I'm scratching my nose. It was a summer of time until he just leaves. I don't know if he's going to Saudi Arabia, to the United States of America, or even in Russia to play football. I don't even know. But he's leaving Manchester United. Which uh raises a question will Casimir go join him? Because they've played together for years, man. Since twenty sixteen straight to tw uh to two thousand twenty one. And then Casimir got joined us in 2022. Man, I'm scratching my nose. What's going on? So, you know, Rafael Vran's contribution. Let me talk about Rafael's con uh, con uh, con his contribution to Manchester United for the three seasons he's been here. Scratch my nose all the time. Um, I questioned the transfer. I quest yes, I I I questioned the transfer, um, of uh. Of 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 customer of Varan because I'm saying to myself that why is it that Real Madrid are giving us a 28 I believe or 29 year old Varan at this time of his career? Because if he was fit most of the time, and if he was playing his best type of game in his prime, Manchester United would be hands off of Varane. Man United would not would not get Varan. And for them to go sell off Sergio Ramos as well, note this, to PSG and Veron in the same transfer window, in the same year. That, that, that's very surprising because that's basically the best center back. But they got better, they got, uh, not better, they got be uh, center backs over the couple of years after that. And even before that, with Rudiger and uh, with Alaba, who is now a center back for them. You see me? But him coming to Manchester United at that time, that lets me question, hmm, something not right. And I was right. I was right. He he came at the uh, back end of his prime, bro. This bridge retired for France, and he wasn't even 30 at the time. I don't think, or at least 32. I don't, think, I don't think so. I can't remember. But yeah, the fact is this, man. Varane coming at Manchester United, his contribution, his experience... We want. We needed that experience. He's been through, you know. He's played with, dude. He's played with Sergio Ramos, bro, and Pepe. <laughs> what? What other experience you go top that apart from Nesta and Mal and Maldini and Canavaro in the modern game that he played, Varan? So we needed this experience. But the question is, would he be fit most of the games of the season? Can he play ninety minutes full? Without having some some man, I'm misread my nose. What's going on here? So, um, with 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 players clipping his his foot, can he see your games without getting you know minor injuries and even major injuries? Can he be injury free for a season? These are the questions that were I was asking in August 2021 when we got him, man. Huh? He didn't have the best of first seasons. I even said this. I remember. <laughs> I remember I said this. I said, um, man is making me smile, me remembering. I said at the time that Varan has been, you know, baby, uh, you know, I said at the time, because he wasn't playing well, I said that at the time he was at Real Madrid with Sergio Ramos and Pepe, Pepe and Sergio Ramos basically held Ramos' hand when, when they were playing together. So I was questioning if he was going to he was going to be the dominant force in our centre back pairing. And Ron doesn't really come across like a very vocal, very expressive centre back. Like he's the leader type. You know, no offense though. I'm just saying what I'm seeing. 
He doesn't come across like that type. Maybe he's the type of leader that shows by example by how he plays. Maybe not with this, but with this and this. And we saw, we've seen that for the three seasons he's been here. Isn't me? So, um, him leaving, we're going to miss that experience. And that leads me to something else. We need a couple of signings that are center box. Proper center box. Proper center box to replace Vron. And we need a center box anyway. Even if he wasn't leaving, we need center box anyway if Vron was not leaving. Because we don't know how long John Evans is going to be here. And he's at least at, he's he's been here for at least a year. So we don't know if he's going to extend his contract. And I'm not so, you know, I'm not so big on this the, the young French guy. Because if you go make some strike like Salanke go sit down like that. What hope do you have as a career, man? As a top player? I'm not, So I'm not trusting on that. So we need a couple of center backs, man. And probably three because Martinez... Is not the most fittest of center box. And Maguire is Maguire. So the fact is, we need a couple of two or three center box in the summer. Isn't me? To replace not only Vran, but to replace and to add to the squad uh quality, proper quality center box. So with Vran leaving, it's it's unfortunate that he's gonna leave, but it needed to be done, and I believe that this is the snowball effect of the clear coming to its fruition. Casemiro may join that as well, but he's more behind the scene. I believe he's going to leave. Cause I believe he's going to leave, Casemiro. Your partner leave from Real Madrid. So you leave, uh, you still here. So you, you, I believe he's going to leave. I believe he's going to leave. But it's that, it's, it's, um, wrapping up. I wish Vern all the best. He was one of my favorite center box in his prime when he was at Real Madrid. I love seeing him play for France. He was quick. He was he was always in shape, bro. Like this brethren is a type of defender. That even if he hits on if he if he if this brethren go eat off a buff, he'll never get fat. Never get fat. Never get fat. But the irony is that although he never he never got fat. This virgin is not always fit. How would that work? You're fit. You have six pack. You look like you you at least eight uh eight percent body fat, at least seven. Boy, you can't you, you can't stay fit, man. What's what's with this commotion, man? What kind of shop you're running around you? So <laughs> you know, you you're outside, you you're fit, but they can't play 90 minutes of football. What's going on with that, man? So anyway, I I wish him all the best. I wish him all the best. He's been uh we need do he scored some crucial goals for us. The first goal of this season, hello Varan scored the first goal this season against Wolves. Wolves was cooking us, cooking our midfield as well. This me cooking it. They were going through our midfield just like a weed walker through grass. They had that and, and, and if it wasn't for Varan's goal, we could have even drawn or even lost that game at home. Our first game of this season. So he need we he, he, he I'm not saying he's no <laughs> I'm not saying he's no real Ferdinand, but he's he's contributed to this club and and we and we and I would like to personally thank him and I know some of you guys would like to thank him as well, is me. So um, with that being said, thank you for your contribution, Rafael Varan. Um, I wish you all the best in your career. I hope you don't retire though, cause you're still young, but. Yeah, man. So going back to this game, though, we won three two. Although we should we should have won this game three one. Um, so yeah, it was a very good game. It wasn't defensive. Um, Gonacho, let me let me see some about Gonacho. I know some of you guys just say like him and Gonacho again. Jesus, um, Gonacho didn't have a bad game. I, I, he, he didn't have a but he had chance. He had upper better opportunities to be decisive. But you know, he, like I said, bro, he's young. He's going. He's gonna. He learn hopefully. He 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 learned to be a better player, is me? So yeah, I'm I'm proud of. Uh, but yeah, bro, like I said, bro, I'm about to not be here, and and this this game just proves I thought, man, didn't have the best of games. Um, Johnny Evans was solid at the back. 
um uh Hoyland got his goal, you know, I'm pretty sure that he wanted need a goal. Bruno Fernandez with a four point five performance, man. That was a very good game from Bruno Fernandez. If he can play that, if he can play like that, of course he can play like that for every game because that's unsustainable. This bridging was running like he was on E. Like he was all over the place. He was he was rap naked, man. Knock it a couple of chance, had a couple of instances where he had to hold his back and hold his left leg. Yeah. He was just running, man, running, running, running. And this is one of the very first times where he didn't even start or play for us since 2020, since he signed for the club. So we we missed that creativity from him. You see me? We missed that. And for me, not the biggest Bruno Fernandes supporter. It kills me to say that, but that's the truth, though. But I'm getting distracted, so I'm going to finish the video right now. Like and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below in the comment section. Hit the bell as well so that you can be notified on each upload. Man, this season is almost finished. This season didn't just start. Man, this season is going fast, man. Well, we have uh, two games left. We have two games left, if not one game left. And we don't even know if we go get uh, European qualification. Because Chelsea is in 6th. And we're in, what, 7th uh, place or 8th place? We're still in 8th place? That's funny. That's funny. That's, that reminds me, I know I should finish this video. But I was watching the press conference of uh, everything. And someone was asking him if, you know, if, he's, if he feels that his position is secure. And it was basically, oh, sure, you know, security, you know, uh, 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 you know, I believe there's nothing wrong with my position. I believe I'll stay for next season at Manchester United. Dude, Van Gaal got stuck winning an, both an uh, NFA Cup and he gave us European qualification in the EuroLeague. We don't even know if we're going to get European qualification. Moyes got stuck because we were in, what, eighth place or seventh place? We finished seven that season in 2013-2014. But <laughs> this guy is still here though. And he thinks that his position is so secure. Bless his heart. So anyway, leave your comments down in the comment section. Like and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, the brother is out. Peace.